Mm -hmm. yeah. Welcome to Free Play Arcade Jeopardy. It is our weekly show written by Journeyman Josh. Thank you so much for joining us. Let me post the link here. Joining us now, our first contestant from, let's see, you're going to have to help me out, but I know you work with the <laughs> Dallas Observer. I am a mm -hmm. fanboy because you wrote Trivia Murder Party. Um, helped write it. But helped write it? Okay. Yeah. Is it is it is I it like that last night? It's a team. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it was. It was me sitting in my uh, apartment for six months trying to think of my Little Pony questions. That see for, for six straight months. I, no, I, no, it was fun. I thank you so much because I have played that game till the grooves have worn off on the disc, which it didn't come <laughs> with the disc. But I have played that game a ton. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Appreciate uh, that. You have a comedy troupe as well. Yes, uh, I'm. Uh, I'm in a, uh, a sketch group called The Folding Chairs, and I do a live mystery science uh, theater-style show called The Maki Horror Picture Show, where we we screen a very bad movie and make fun of it and give the audience props and lines that they can yell at, yell and throw at the screen. That is always fun. So, yeah. I, I wish I could do... <laughs> something like that on this stream stream without getting tossed from YouTube. And also you... Well we use public domain movies, so Oh, okay. Yeah. We can't afford Batman versus Superman, because if I could I'd do that in a minute. I just want to do Streets of uh, Fire. Streets every, of Fire. Every uh Oh, I know that one. Yes. Every beat 'em up is based on Streets of Fire somehow. But well, I just we have a done link. what's that? Wait, we have done I forgot to record it, but we have done uh, a live mock of mock, uh, Mortal Kombat story mode. Oh, nice! Very because nice. it's such a it's such a cheesy movie. Uh, in a good way. Yes, there are. Yeah. So, who is this? This is Danny Gallagher. And by the way, there's a link to a story he did about us in our dumb little stream just the other day. So I posted it in the community group. It's Danny Gallagher. Thank you so much for joining us. Ah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Our next contestant. One of the uh, most famous lawyers in our group, the <laughs> best dressed man to ever walk through Free Play Arcade's floor, and have you won Tuesday Night Fights, Mr. GQ? I have come so damn close. So no. damn close. <laughs> You've he's won our hearts over with this uh, this unique, unique Halloween costume. It is Mr. GQ. Thank you so much. <laughs> Glad to be here, guys. If you need uh, if you need family law help. I will reveal Mr. GQ's name. <laughs> or in the occasional DWI. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for keeping an undetermined amount of our staff out of the out of the jails. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of undetermined staff members, it is free play Arlington's tech extraordinaire Andrew Ortega, aka Andy Nubs, in the chat. Thank you for joining us, Andy. Hello, hello. All right, there you go. Journeyman Josh, take it away. Uh, now I'm all nervous because there's like a real trivia person here. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Is this your that. first time competing, Danny? I've. I'm. I'm in. Uh, I. You know, pub trivia, and I do uh, learned league. But um, yeah, I won't okay. be winning any money today. <laughs> Maybe Bell Trend so, bucks. Maybe you never know. <laughs> I got a big stack of them here. Uh, we've got categories for first round uh six of them just like regular jeopardy mm -hmm. uh we expanded first time we just did video game stuff then we expanded to just kind of other retro pop culture stuff last time people said they were okay with expanding to more modern stuff so now it's just kind of just pop culture in general uh <clears throat> it's still probably 50 percent video game stuff though. okay uh so to reveal our categories, you guys can see them already, but the Twitch stream can't until I reveal them. So one at a time, starting on the left, we've got our current zeitgeist. That category is about uh, the games that have come to, divine, to define our current social distancing situation. <laughs> uh, next, we've got girl power. That is about uh, women animated characters. 
Then we've got trademark rights reserved copyright, or you can just call it TMRC. That is about uh, games based off of uh, licenses, but specifically brand licenses, not TV and movie licenses. Mm. Sweaty gaming, uh, <laughs> which is about uh, arcade games that have uh, physical uh, peripherals. Nice. Fun. May, may the quiz be with you, which is about Star Wars. <laughs> and Scum which is about uh, fictional criminal organizations, uh, which I love that category, and there's a lot oh, to do man. with it. There's a lot in it, so I'm probably going to use it again. <laughs> Scum, <laughs> Scum, Scum specifically is the specter in James Bond Jr. That's yes, bad. that's right. The animated series, I don't remember that. I hope that's one of the questions. Yes. <laughs> he chases Scum around the world. <laughs> I wouldn't get any of them. <laughs> uh, so, who do we want to start with, Chris? Uh, Danny. Okay. Uh, I'll take. Oh, and uh, uh, Rook, do you want? Can we buzz in at any time, or do you want us to wait till you finish reading? Uh, wait, wait till we finish. Uh, so reading you have the to question. wait till I finish reading the question. Okay. Uh, first round in Jeopardy, they're a little more lenient on the whole question thing. They'll just remind you. Right. Second round. If you don't put it in the form of a question, you get it wrong. Somebody else gets the answer. Okay. Andrew, Mr. GQ, do you guys understand those rules? Understood. Absolutely. All right. Awesome. Uh, I'll take uh, sweaty gaming. Sweaty gaming for two hundred. Okay. This game had two pressure-sensitive buttons that were meant to be punched to activate six different attacks. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, the answer is, what is Street Fighter? <laughs> the first Street Fighter had two, off. Two, two giant buttons oh, that you were I supposed was to thinking, push. Oh, yeah. I was thinking two giant, like, Dance Dance Revolution pads. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> Okay. It's still I, mine, I think, right? I, I yeah, asked uh, the, the Japanese players if they had ever seen that, because I had never seen that before. I don't know if you three have. I've never seen it seen, once. Yeah, I never I saw it. I was real young. Yeah, I asked Heard them how they played it, it and they, it. they showed me their method of like pressing the button so that they actually got the moves that they wanted. Yeah. But it looked painful. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, sweaty Gaming for four. Okay. Please. This arcade driving game had a giant car that would lean left and right when the player turned in the game. It was far too aggressive to be put in free play. Uh, Danny. What is Outrun? That is correct. Yes. Oh. It's a... er, so, no, uh, Power Drift. No. Oh, no. See, this is, <laughs> this is like, I this hope is that's also I... another name. See, I, I do this. I've done this every time. Okay. Uh, well, and we'll... it didn't sound like anybody else was going to get it. <laughs> Danny, so. Danny got awarded it, so he gets it. No, no you, yeah, take, take yeah. it away. I don't think anybody else had it, though. I don't okay. think anybody else was going to get power. Yeah, I don't remember that. All right. um, uh, I was trying to remember it because I saw it on the uh, YouTube last week. Yeah, remember we that? had a YouTube video about it. And uh, who was it that was like, put it on the floor, just put a rope around it? Who was that? Do you <laughs> just remember? Put a rope. Was it Orlando? <laughs> I don't know. Uh. <laughs> that, was, that, that, that game would definitely kill someone. Yeah, and well, and also just we sell beer. Somebody's right. gonna put a beer on the, on the, you know, on the side of it, and then they're gonna not know it turns, and then there's a new game cool. show. How many how many beers does it take to play Power Drift? All right, well, you still got the board though. All right, uh, uh, scum for two. According to their motto, tunnel snakes do this. Tunnel snakes blank. <laughs> and uh, Danny, what is burrow? Oh no, that is incorrect. <laughs> Anybody else? Mm -hmm. In three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Tunnel snakes rule. Yeah, tunnel oh. snakes rule. 
I, well, I still don't know what that is. What is, what is, what is, no, what is that reference to? Fallout uh, 3. Fallout 3. Oh! And there's, there's a gang in the Turn. vault. No, you're right. The tunnel I, snakes. I just remembered that. Turn. That was a question, too, everybody. That was a game that I've never played. <laughs> All right, now I can see the buzzer and chat at the same time. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, We're off to a good start. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, may the quiz be with you for two. This is the name of Jabba the Hutt's Kowakian monkey lizard. <sighs> I'm gonna get roasted. What noise he makes. <laughs> Danny. What is Mike Pence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty close, though. It's pretty close. <laughs> That was worth 200. That was worth losing 200. It, it yeah. was. We're yeah. all with you. Because I... Uh, what is his name? <laughs> Three, two, one. Doo, doo, doo. <sighs> it is, what is Salacious B. Crumb? Oh, my. I actually, hmm. I, actually did, I didn't know he had a middle initial until I wrote this. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> oddly specific. <laughs> <laughs> Salacious Crumb would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crumb, maybe? I'm going to assume the um, B stands for B, like B-E-E. -E. Uh, let's try Zeitgeist for 200. Chris, do you see what I'm doing, and is this okay? And add for this major PlayStation release, attack Nintendo by saying, someone please get the guys who made cartridge games a cigarette and a blindfold. Yes, you're fine. Danny. What is the PlayStation 3? Uh, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. <sighs> Damn it. That's major PlayStation release. Remember, the category is games that are relevant to our current social distancing. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> anybody else? Three. Oh, well, can I can I try? Well, no, I already answered. So yeah, so anybody else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's a... What is Final Fantasy VII? Final seven? Fantasy seven, yeah. Damn it. I, I, feel, I feel terrible I didn't know that. <laughs> They ran an ad for the original Final Fantasy VII that said that at the top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sweaty Gaming for six. This Konami light gun game uses motion sensors to detect body movements so the player can duck behind objects and dodge bullets. Uh, I didn't hear the buzzer, but it looks like Danny and bu buzzed in. No. no? Uh, my buzzer didn't get turned off. I don't know. Oh, Andrew, did you buzz it on the last one or this one? I think I forgot to reset. This one. Okay, so what's your answer? Uh, what is Police Trainer? Uh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. No, like kind of game and motion sensors. Oh! Danny. What is, um... Oh, I just, um, um... Blanking. Was time crisis? Uh, that's incorrect. Uh, I would have guessed the same thing. Hmm. Must be a newer one. GQ, you want a shot at this? Three, uh, two. Sure, one. why not? Oh, all right. Talked him into it. What is police nine one one? That is correct. Hey, yeah. Where you did you pull police, that one police out Police trainer of? was close. Police trainer was close. I kept hearing police, police, police. I'm like, it has to be police something. I played this game. To be fair, I remembered Time Crisis. All right, our first... It didn't help me. ...correct question of the day. <laughs> Mr. GQ, um, you have control of the board. Sure. Let's do girl power for 200. Shira's real name. Uh, uh. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can curse? Oh, good. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh. Three, two, one. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, Andrew. What is Sharon? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 All right. It is 
Princess Adora. Princess Adora. Uh, what is Princess Adora? Uh, Mr. GQ, you still have the board. Okay, let's do Girl Power for 400. Originally known as Whoop-Ass Girls, this show is the last one produced in Hanna-Barbera studio. Uh, Andrew? Did I forget to reset? I think I forgot. No, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, Mr. GQ buzzed in for this yeah, one. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, um, what is Powerpuff Girls? That is correct. Awesome. Yeah, that was the last one made at the actual Hanna Barbera Studios before it shut down. Hmm. Let's go. I actually do. I can't buzz in. Our current zeitgeist for four hundred. This previous AR game from Niantic provided the map data when they were developing Pokemon Go. Oh. oh. I played this one. recognize it if I heard it. It's the one that it's it's like more sci-fi. Oh. Three, two, yeah. One. Something with I'm I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's what is Ingress? Ingress, yes. Uh, they actually they actually made an anime of it recently. Oh wow. okay. Anime of an AR game. An AR or anime? It was Seriously. like you had to go to power stations or stations instead of the uh, GMs or whatever Pokemon Go uses. Okay. Um, yeah. line. Let's do the trademark registered copyright or TMRC for 200. This game was released for SNES and Genesis and featured the mascot for 7-Up. Danny. What is Cool Spot? That is correct. Nice. Nicely done. There was also Thank a you. Cool Spot cool spot goes to Hollywood, but that right. one was only on the Genesis. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> trademark for four. Burger King put out three video games. Pocket Bite Racer and Big Bumpkin <laughs> were developed by Blitz Games, but development for this third game was more closely led by Burger King. Holy hell. Danny. What is Sneak King? That is correct. <laughs> Sneak King. <laughs> That's an actual game? Yes. yes. Apparently. Sold it for five <laughs> bucks. Yes. You it's like in Manhunt. With any, like, with any meal, you could yeah. pay five bucks and get one of them. It, Sneak King was the weirdest yeah. and uh, quote unquote best one, which is funny because it was the one like done actually by Burger King. <laughs> yes. That, that's the one where you, like you're if, the yeah. king, but you, you, you're Metal Gear Solid, like sneaking up people and slipping their throats with burgers. Yeah. <laughs> I think you fed them burgers. I just remember the <laughs> McDonald's game. Forcefully. <laughs> it may come up. Don't say it. Uh, trademark for six. In this total doom conversion, you protect the planet Bazoic from the Flimoids by teleporting them back to their home oh. planet. Danny. What is Chex Quest? That is correct. Yes. I knew that. Oh, where am I score wise? I can't see it. Negative 400. Okay. You're getting there. <laughs> Second place. Uh, trademark for eight. Before getting his own game on PlayStation, Pepsi Man made a cameo in this fighting game. Mm. Oh, I can't buzz in. Oh, sorry. I need to remember to reset it. All right, Danny. Um, what is Virtua Fighter? Oh, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Uh, I know I shouldn't have tried it. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It is. What is Fighting Vipers? No way. Oh. Huh. I've never heard of that. They took them out for the U.S. release. Ah. We definitely go. had that on the floor for a while. Uh, trademark for a thousand. Okay. That is. Uh, it's supposed I... to be daily double, and I use oh, it wrong. Oh, okay. I think we have a so, that. That's the daily yeah, double. It's this one. Yeah, good job. Chris, can yeah. you hear these? I can, yes. Okay. 
Because we can't hear my Discord as well. Oh, they so can hear it on the screen. I grab, I grab the... You guys can't see it because you're not looking at the stream, but I You don't want wrong, to click it yet. I grabbed the wrong graphic. I you, I grabbed the graphic that says Double Jeopardy instead of Daily Double. <laughs> uh, so, the way uh, it works is... Who chose? That I was did. Danny, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so, before you see the question, you get right. an amount. Yeah. Uh, if you're less than 1,000, you get the bid up to 1,000. Yeah, I'll do 1,000. Okay. In the game Darkened Sky, the protagonist Sky casts her spells by collecting these. What are stars? I. So this is a hard question, and I don't <laughs> normally do this on Jeopardy, but I'm going to give a slight hint. Remember the category. Oh, 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 uh, you're right. Sorry. Uh... What is Darkened Sky is... What is it? Uh, I don't know. What is Mountain Dew? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, the answer is... Skittles. Skittles. Star Skittles. Uh, okay. Uh, that game is surprisingly not as bad as you'd expect. It's no. actually kind of funny. Well, I don't like it. It cost me a thousand bucks. They're about ten bucks. You can get rid of them. But yeah, that's like yeah, the oh, only okay. that's like the only thing in it too. You could pretty much easily just take out. You could change the skittles into something else. And right. Just, it's barely um, a skittles. Dude. Um, let's do Zeitgeist for six. Tom Nook's company symbol is a leaf. This is because he's supposed to be this animal, who are said to be able to turn leaves into money. Mr. GQ. What is a tanuki? That is correct. I would have also accepted raccoon dog. <laughs> <laughs> tanuki spelled wrong, too. Oh, dang it, my phone's dying. <laughs> um, let's do sweaty gaming for 800. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello? Hello. Did y'all hear me? Josh? No, no, I, no. I got you. Sweaty Gaming for 800. Yeah. Correct. Uh, before we continue, though, I would like to ask who told me that Tanuki is spelled wrong. <laughs> Andrew was <laughs> the one who got that wrong badly. <laughs> I should, like, deduct points. <laughs> <laughs> this company developed Mazan Flash of the Blade, which is played like a light gun game, but with a sword peripheral instead. Oh. Mm. Nah. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. So who is Namco? Namco. Of course, it's Namco. Uh, okay, there's. We gotta correct somebody in the chat too because they are also seem. Pure Yeti seems to also think that I spelled it wrong, and I assume <laughs> they're also going off the incorrect from Super Mario Brothers spelling. It is T A N U K I. Yeah, ah, so yeah. take that. Uh, it's Rutgers. not two O's. <laughs> the Tanuki okay. suit is different. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's do May the Quiz Be With You for 400. Before being cast in Star Wars, Harrison Ford mainly supported himself by working as one of these. Danny. What's a carpenter? That is correct. Wow, nice. Oh, wow. Thank you. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's finish. Um, what was the last one? Sweaty Gaming for a thousand, please. The arcade game Boonga Boonga has a model of the <laughs> rear of a person bending over and a giant pointer finger to poke it with. This is a reference to this prank children pull in Japan. To this prank children pull? Yes. The name of the prank where you poke somebody in the butt with your fingers. <laughs> Assault? <laughs> Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Goose Mr. Shank? GQ, Mr. GQ. Oh, 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 he got in there. First of all, what is 
Concho. Yeah, it is correct. Yes. And I'll, I'll tell you how I know this. Naruto. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of anime. Like, yes. it's a thing that little kids do in Japan, like, for real. <laughs> you take both your hands, you put them together, you basically make finger guns with both hands. With, with with two fingers instead of just a pointer finger. You put Would them you together. All have accepted what is a thousand years of pain instead. <laughs> yeah. What well, you put them together wow. and then when somebody's bending over you just poke them in the ass like <laughs> <laughs> I I did not experience this in Japan, thankfully. Good. <laughs> that you, you probably weren't around you were wearing around enough <laughs> elementary <laughs> children <laughs> probably. <laughs> bending over in your elementary school. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, let's go with our current zeitgeist for 800. Nemesis was not originally Resident Evil 3. Instead, this game started out as the third Resident Evil game. Mm. Andrew, do you need a buzzer? Oh, let me reset the buzzers. Too. It's not original. Danny? Was Resident Evil 2? No, that is incorrect. Yeah. Uh. Anyone else want a shot? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It is. What is Resident Evil Code Veronica? Wow. They were that was originally going to be the third Resident Evil. Right. And then, uh, theoretically, because they were under contract to have three games on the PlayStation, they had to develop a different game to be the third Resident Evil right. game. And that's when they developed Nemesis. Stars. <laughs> Oh, um, let's do girl power for 600. This group was essentially a group of evil Sailor Scouts and served as the primary antagonists of Sailor Moon R. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's who are the Black Moon Clan. <laughs> uh, let's go Girl Power for Girl Power. Jerrica Benton transforms into Jim to perform using holograms that are generated by this character. Generated by this character. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, it's who is Synergy? Synergy was an AI, <laughs> an AI hologram generating dance machine created by her father. <laughs> L little known that shows a documentary. Huh. <laughs> uh, let's do. Let's go and finish up Girl Power for a thousand. Frequent villain of Kim Possible and totally awesome lady Shigo used to be part of this superhero team. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is Team Go? Team Go. Huh. She has she has four brothers: Higo, Migo, and two twins, both called Wiga. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can you hear me I just, can you hear Let's me okay? the scum for 400 can, who's, that, who's, that? who's talking I'm, I'm hearing somebody it, talking it's me I had to take I had to plug in my phone oh. and oh, we're good. wireless headset okay sorry go ahead uh, let's do scum for 400 this gang kidnapped the daughter of the mayor of metro city Mr. GQ uh, what is Mad Gear? Uh, I'm gonna say as close to is the Mad Gear gang, but yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, yeah. I said gang in this the question anyway. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go with Scum for six hundred. The Foot Clan were originally created as a parody of this Daredevil crime group. Mr. GQ. What is the hand? That is correct. Yeah. 
that was the major Daredevil storyline going on at the time when the Turtles came out. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of the original Turtles comic stuff was kind of based off of that storyline. For whatever reason, when you read the answer, I didn't connect my brain to the Daredevil comic slash IP. I just was like, they're Daredevils that that commit crimes. Yeah. I don't I don't know a famous <laughs> Japanese Daredevil group. I mean, nin ninjas are kind of like Daredevils. True. No, true. Very true. Uh, let's go with Scum for 800. Spike Spiegel and Vicious were both members of this Mars crime syndicate. General Yagov's mad he's not in right now. Yeah. Oh. He'll, he'll get his chance in the Tournament of Champions. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Uh, it's who is the Red Dragon Syndicate? Mm. Hmm. That's, That's Cowboy cool. Bebop, in case you didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go and finish up Scum with 4,000. This is the worst and most pathetic gang in the movie The Warriors. Danny. Who are the orphans? That is correct. Awesome. Yay! Good job. <laughs> You've won in my it's heart only, already, Danny. <laughs> it's only because it happened before 1990. Pop culture knowledge The orphans suck. <laughs> their yeah. their 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 uniform is like dull green T-shirt. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're they're the Cleveland Browns. Uh, whereas it, post apocalyptic whereas, gangs. Yeah. Whereas everybody else is like you know we wear baseball uniforms and paint our faces. Right. Whatever. <laughs> it's literally just like green shirts with sharpie <laughs> with orphans drawn on in, in that block lettering beast that's cool um, hey man, they're trying. Did, did anybody play they're the trying. game the game was actually kind of awesome oh, yeah. Yeah. oh I love the game uh, Rockstar uh, they did I think uh, uh, Zeitgeist for that okay according to the novels Flynn Fly Taggart is the protagonist of this video game series hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hmm. Three, two, one. Danny. What is the, What is Oasis? No, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. I'm tired. Anybody else? Three, hmm. two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, boop, boop, boop. What is Doom? Mm. Oh, the novel. Oh. <laughs> Remember the categories. I, I, categories. I know some Doom trivia, That's and I, I didn't know that one. Of, now. I was trying to think of Zeitgeist, and then, oh, wait, no, the movie is one of those. Uh, uh, six. Uh, let me reset those just real quick. Okay. And this. Uh, rather than a crown, the leader of the Mandalorian people, the Mandalore, carries this item. Andrew. What is the helmet? No, it's incorrect. I'm sorry. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is the dark saber? Dark saber. Uh... If you watched the Mandalorian, you saw it at the end. At the very end. I. Did. That's heavy lore, man. That item I... is heavy lore in the in the. Well, it, it, it features pretty heavily in Clone Wars and Yeah. It's right. not that deep. <laughs> Which, they're uh, both, those uh, shows it, are both good. I recommend them. Yes. 800. This Chiss command, commanded the ISD Chimera for the Empire during the Galactic Rebellion. Chiss. So, Empire. Okay, let's just go Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's who is Grand Admiral Thrawn? Mm. Right. Last one. Last one. Hold on, just a second. Ooh. You stink. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, internet, my wife just came in with my 18 month old. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, not at all. No, no, no. Carry on, carry on. <laughs> Please do. Uh, Max Rebo and his band have performed for many criminals, including Jabba the Hutt. This is the genre of music the band performs. Oh, I want to say it. Sure. We want you to say it. Yeah. Here. Three. Danny. What is... What is... Uh, uh, cantina. Cantina music. No, that's incorrect. Okay. Good guess, though. <laughs> I was really hoping you actually knew it and we're gonna say it. it. Well, if it's the other one, Ooh. then I'm gonna I'm gonna it's gonna get right loud. Also also like people were complaining about spoilers when I mentioned the Darksaber being a Mandalorian and it is April. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been stuck inside, unable to do anything. If you haven't finished Mandalorian by now. Yeah. Just, just, just send, send him a, a baby Yoda. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is jizz? That's it. Seriously. Yeah. What? That is the official name. It's it's jazz, but he changed yeah. one letter. All right. That that is definitely an e break. Nobody will make this a dirty day. <laughs> that's definitely not the answer I would have said to. <laughs> All right, that's the end of round one of free play Thanks. Jeopardy. First place, Mr. GQ, $3,600. Everybody else in a negative. Andrew, negative 1,400. Danny, negative 3,600. But my two favorite answers. So you're still winning <laughs> in my heart, Danny. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, I appreciate it. So it's, it's... I don't Mr. need G your pity, but I appreciate it. So Danny is at negative 36. Mr. GQ is yeah. at what? 3,600. He, he's at 36 positive? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and Andrew's at? Negative 1,200. 1,200, okay. Sorry, HD Atomica. We meant what is Juz? Juz. <laughs> We're allowed to say it because that's what it's called. Correct. <laughs> yes. I that may have dropped the music. General, yeah. General, yeah. Yagov, General Yagov is right. The performers are <laughs> jizz whalers. General's, <laughs> General's my hero too. General's the MVP of this entire like COVID yeah. knockdown. I believe there's a type of flute that Jeremy um, plays. Withers. Yeah, that he's talked about. You'd be All right. um, a jizz whaler. Uh, I thought you were going to say a jizz flute. If we want to take a quick break to get Water, we can do that. Otherwise, yes. I can go into it. Or we to get, we to take like a commercial break. I could use a break. Okay, sounds good. Just I will get some up. water as well. All right. I don't know where to put that. Maybe I'll just leave it where it was. Yeah, I, ho I hope someone clipped that. I did drop the music, knowing what was coming. <laughs> Jizz whalers. I don't know what the rest of these buttons sound like. Please. So this one, this you one play around. Yet. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm going to listen to it on the stream. Yes. Jeopardy, right? That one has no sign. It's the same thing. Is there a Jeopardy wrong answer? First round, the Jeopardy round. Uh, I'll stick you with the times up and the um, this is right. Oh, I guess there's a daily double. <laughs> I'll bid two thousand, Ian. I thought there was, I thought there was at least like a, a wrong answer. No, so there's wrong answer noise. No, there's not. There's not a right or a wrong answer do noise that I know of. There um, is the yes, the correct the, answer. One. That's. I, I think that's that's a clarification. It, it's not like that it goes off every time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these are out. The theme songs are out, of course. Um, 
that's a no common one. Daily double, you you're hitting. Um, the categories is is one that hop, hop, comes up. First round, the Jeopardy round. Yeah, so that's a classic Mr. Jeopardy. Trebek. Nice. I'll stick with times up and daily doubles. Yeah, that's the those are, those are the ones. And then uh, oh, in this one right here, uh, this is when they introduce the final Jeopardy category or uh, the final Jeopardy category. It's not a correct answer. It's mislabeled there. The theme song? <coughs> no, this one here. Uh, it, he'll Alex will say something like this, and let's look at the category for final Jeopardy. There it is. It's funny because like I don't hear any of those noises because I have the stream. Right. <laughs> yeah, you're listening. You're listening through your thing. Meanwhile, uh, we're firing I off all the Jeopardy drops. And doing it kind of ghetto and just putting it next to the mic, but. Eh. So, yeah, doing great. do we are we going to be able to get uh, all three? I mean, I guess we don't know necessarily who's winning this week, but are we going to be able to get all three champions for next week? Or what uh, I can I can I can search. I can, I can, we can look into it. I'm sure General will be available. He's he's been a, a avid viewer, um, but we'll, we'll we'll work it yeah, out. Because I I kept coming up with categories where I was like, these are too no, hard. I'd, ra I'd rather save that for champion. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I don't know if we officially. Uh, I'll I'll check into it for sure. Yeah. If not, just just keep push that one back and and we'll we'll get a tournament of champions for sure at some point. Yeah. We'll make it hard. Yes. Unlike this one, which is really really easy, Andrew and Danny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to reveal, reveal categories for round two? Yeah, I I I just want to say I don't know if anybody in here watches wrestling, which will be funny if they don't. Uh, in a second, but Paige is playing Animal Crossing on Twitch right now, apparently, according to the recommended channels. Be right. Paige? Okay. Uh, it's the thing to do. So the uh, categories for this Double Jeopardy round, ignore the one all the way on the... It's just easier to leave it there rather than make a whole other board. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've, got, cool. we've got Hayden and Hayden, which is a category about video game lawsuits. Oh, uh, the Heidenlines oh, no. did not actually do video game lawsuits, but you know they're related to both video games and law. So, and did that have anything to do with the fact that I misspelled Corey's name? Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. I, I just, just revealed the article today, so uh, okay. we fixed it. By the way, wow, ah, cool, cool. Again. Sell the face <laughs> turn, which is about wrestling terms. Oh man, where's Mike B? Okay, well he's right here. DJ Terminator <laughs> Mike B, which is a category about Michael Beltran. You're welcome, thanks, L Trouble. Thank, yeah, thanks to Chris. Thanks to Chris for those questions. Uh, this category, Fatality, is about video nice. game finishers. Nice. It's not just Mortal Kombat. It's just games with finisher move, finishing right. moves. Uh, potpourri is could be whatever. <laughs> and misunderstood geniuses. We'll say it's about morally ambiguous scientists. Mm. Awesome. Fictional morally ambiguous. <laughs> All right. Let's so we start with Danny, because you start with whoever's lowest has control of the board. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Hiding and hiding for. Okay. This company lost a lawsuit against Nintendo for copyright claims regarding Donkey Kong. Danny. Who is Namco? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Anybody else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's who is Universal? Dang it, I knew it. They, who did Universal they, get involved? They made a claim that Donkey Kong was violating their copyright King on King Kong. Kong. Yeah. And, and related to what people were talking about earlier with public domain movies, they lost that lawsuit because they themselves had had an earlier lawsuit against somebody else oh. where they claimed that they they could make King Kong because it was in the public the oh. was in the public domain. Oh, so King Kong this. is public domain is what you're telling me. Uh, I don't know if technically the movie is, but the plot no. is like the, the, the plot character is, yeah. and plot. Uh, so, yeah, because the they had won that, because they had yeah, won that gotcha. lawsuit, because they had won that lawsuit, 
they were like, uh, well, how can we be copying your character when it's public domain? And not only that, but Nintendo got to claim damages against them because they had sent cease and desist letters right. to various uh, third party publishers who were who were publishing uh, the Donkey Kong like. You will never hear me cry for anybody losing a copyright case. <laughs> Best thing kind of person. Uh, hiding and hiding apes. Nintendo sued this company for copyright infringement when they used copyright documents to reverse engineer the 10 NES chip lockout chip. Oh, Danny. What is Kalub? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Ah. Anybody else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's who is Tengen? Uh, mm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, initially Earlier. Nintendo. Yeah, initially Nintendo had. Yeah, the 10 NES lockout chip was on the NES because initially. Right. Nintendo forced you to license your games through Nintendo so that they would make the actual cartridges because they didn't want companies to put out more than five games per year. Right. And Tengen actually went to the copyright offices and claimed that they were going to file a lawsuit against Nintendo so they needed to see the copyright documents. <laughs> and then they used the copyright documents to reverse engineer the chip so that they could make their own cartridges. Nice. Other companies had made cartridges that went around the chip but they used a different method where they did a voltage spike on the chip to get around it and Tengen was worried about basically accidentally Stopping frying everybody. somebody's Nintendo and getting in trouble <laughs> so, yeah. so they wanted to actually reverse engineer the chip uh hide and hide for 1200 Minecraft developer Mojang was sued by Bethesda over trademark concerns for this word Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is scrolls? Scrolls. Ooh. They were making yes. they were making a card yeah. game called Scrolls, and Bethesda was like, "No, people will clearly confuse it with Elder Scrolls." And whenever I hear <laughs> Bethesda, I think Doom, not Elder Scrolls. No, <laughs> I can't. I, as as a friend with 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 friends in uh, as a person with friends in ID for a million years, I just can't separate that from ID. Yeah, exactly. Um, Hayden for or Hayden for uh, sixty. After a complicated battle of suit and countersuit with Epic, a judge ordered Silicon Knights to destroy all remaining physical copies of this game. <sighs> Three, two, one. Boop boop boop. Uh, the answer is. What is too human? Too human. Never played oh. that one. I did play the demo of it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. It's weird because they they put that as a free game as yeah. part of the Xbox Live thing on Xbox One not that long, which is very bizarre considering that situation. Mm. Hmm. Uh, hide, hide two. Digital Homicide sued this person essentially for giving their games bad reviews. Danny. Okay. Who is the giant bomb writer guy? <laughs> uh, you gotta give me that. No. <laughs> no. I think it's something else. Uh, what's his name? Or he went to Giant Bomb, but he wrote for IGN. You gotta give me half for the description. <laughs> <laughs> That's incorrect. I, Bruce Art. Who is Bruce Art? No, it's not Bruce Art. All right. Uh, all right. Is all that accurate? <laughs> you know the story. I know the story, and I can't remember the dude. I know the game it was about too. All right. If Anybody? If, if I'm correct, which I'm probably not. You might be. I, I don't know. My Wikipedia powers are only so quick. Anybody oh, else want to give it a whirl? Mm -mm. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's who is Jim Sterling. Okay, what was the game? 
it was a bunch games. of their games. He 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 does a series where <laughs> for shitty games on Steam and plays shitty games on Steam. Oh, okay. They're I'm a company that makes that makes. Well, I, I sorry, I just oh. said the S word twice. I'm not supposed to. Uh, <laughs> they make shovelware for Steam. I'm not supposed to say Steam. I just said it again. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> they, they make they make they make shovelware on Steam, and and his whole said thing. It again. <laughs> it's just like. Right. They basically sued him for saying bad things about their games, and it's like, well, I'm I'm essentially a video game critic. That's <laughs> they're That's bad. My job. <laughs> yeah, and I was thinking of the guy that did the K uh, review of Kane and Lynch for no Gamespot, and he got fired. Mm. And so I was, yeah. So I was wrong, and it's been recorded. <laughs> <laughs> um, fatality. Uh, what was the what was the total fatality? Uh, Four hundred. Four. Okay. This character can defeat minor angels with finishers based on torture devices like the Iron Maiden wooden horse and vice. And Danny. Who is Dante? Uh, that's incorrect. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. So who's Bayonetta? Uh, we're going to get roasted for that. Come on, chat. Uh, <laughs> no, noun noun proper, I can say steam. I was saying a different S word that is a cuss word that we're trying not to use. <laughs> I made a joke because I was saying like four different words that started with S. Sure. Um, <laughs> fatality for A. In Sekiro, you can perform a death blow by reducing an enemy's vitality to zero or by filling up this gauge. Oh, oh, buzz. Buzz. There we go. Danny. Danny? What is, uh, yeah, what is uh, special? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Damn it. Anyone else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is posture? Posture. You break their posture. Um, Opa Reef. For 400? Yeah. X Files produced this one spin off series featuring a trio of side characters. Danny. Who are the lone gunmen? That is correct. Hmm. Uh,. Uh, Potpourri for eight. Oh, buzzers. This multimedia franchise initially started as a series of Tamagotchi-style virtual pets that could battle each other. Mr. GQ. What? Can you repeat that? You, you, uh, yeah, you cut out. Oh, can you all hear me now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is Pokemon? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Darn. Anyone else? Mm -mm. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. This... What is Digimon? Dig ah, the wrong mm. Mon. <laughs> yeah, they were they were exactly like Tamagotchi, but you plug them in together and you battle right. them. Uh, Bob Reef is twelve. The Sega Genesis was beating the SNES in sales in the U.S. until this Super Nintendo game released in 1994. Danny. What is... Uh, what is Star Fox? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Yeah. Damn. Anyone else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, Andrew. Oh, okay. What is Super Metroid? Oh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. GQ, you want to shout at this? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop, boop. All right. It is. What is Donkey Kong Country? Donkey Kong. Ah. Oh. Just playing that yesterday too. It was. Well, let's probably feature a trivia question. It was what? Uh, it, it was it Street Fighter Two that caused them to get the lead, the six-button controller. Uh, it was kind of just a 
of series of things. I think that before DKC, they hadn't had any big SNES titles in oh, Genesis, Mortal Kombat like, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Genesis just yeah. did a good job of really pushing the media presence and stuff in the U S. Hmm. Uh, so there was kind of a combination of things. They, it, the, the, uh, console wars book is a very interesting read about that particular yeah. thing. Let's see who has control of the board. Does it matter? <laughs> uh, i'm i'm very embarrassed about it was nah. whoever last um, had, nobody got it right so it was whoever last uh, I think, yeah i think it's still me uh fatality for 12 this mortal combat was the first to feature friendships babalities and animalities mr gq what is mortal combat 3 that is correct mortal combat 2 had all those except animalities, animalities uh, yep I would. Oh, okay. Let's see again. Tricky. Uh, let's do fatality for sixteen hundred. Fatality, you said? Yeah, for sixteen hundred. Although changed in later games, this character's first final smash move was called Negative Zone. Mister GQ, who is Luigi? That is correct. Ah. His very weird arbitrary smash move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Later it was the uh, vacuum. Vacuum. In, yep. In uh, Luigi's Mansion. The king of second bananas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Didn't they have like a year of Luigi or something not that long ago? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Let's do that. Was when, that was when they released the second Luigi's Mansion, right? Dark Moon. Yeah. I, I think so. Let's do um. Let's just go ahead and finish up Fatality for two thousand. This game about traveling through the circles of hell had a finisher where the main character cuts death in half with his own scythe. Danny, what is Dante's Inferno? That is correct. Yes. <laughs> Why did I? That was my answer for the first one. Yes. The easiest one. <laughs> Just keep guessing Dan Dante you. enough and you're gonna get there. Yeah, yeah. I, I um, thought I thought this should be the two thousand dollar question because who remembers this game existed? I do. I don't I still <laughs> play it all the time. I don't remember Mario, but hey, you need me for that backyard wrestling game, I'm there. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, but potpourri for uh two thousand. For 2000? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons traces its origins back to a set of medieval war game rules made by Gary Gagax and Jeff Perrin with this title. See, when you answered Dante, uh, when you answered Dante for the other one, I thought you made Devil May Cry Dante. Yeah, I, uh, I realized it could have gone either way. Dan, Dan um, what is Dungeon Master? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Nah. There we go. Blowing my Dante's Inferno money. <laughs> <laughs> the Beltran bucks are easy come, easy go. Oh, I know. Anyone it's, else? It's, it's pride at this point. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is chain mail? Chain mail. They, huh. they, oh, they were, the they were part of a. <laughs> Yeah, they were part of a, yeah. a gaming, a war gaming group, and they wanted to make rules for medieval war gaming. Right. Chainmail. And then eventually it got like rules for fantasy creatures, and then it eventually it evolved DD. Right. Potpourri for 16. All right. That is the Daily Double, which right now, according to. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this. Oh, you can, you can wager up to 2,000. <laughs> oh, that'll help. Um, so I realized the way that I, I did this is going to be... No, no, it's okay. Oh, you were saying, Josh? Well, I um, let me see if I can <laughs> do this real quick. Uh, did you, uh, Danny, did you have a wager? Yeah. Yeah, 2,000. Okay. Your clarification, yeah. Josh? Let me just drag this into. I need to. I need to open this for them to see it. I. I. I have a graphic for it in XSplit, but I need to open it in Chrome for. Yeah. For them to see it. I the actual players. 
All right. So for this, we are doing a close crop. Uh, Ooh. Oh. So you need to identify what arcade game this close crop is from. <laughs> uh... And I get why you picked. Yes, General Yagov. They haven't found the other daily double in double <laughs> jeopardy yet. <laughs> um, I don't know what is um, Sinistar. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Yeah, can I buzz in? <laughs> no. <laughs> you do well, know it though. Mm. What is it, Andrew? I do know. You it. can say it. It's Scribble or Scrabble. Yeah. Yeah, it's scramble. It's scramble. <laughs> scramble. Okay. We, it we was actually. We would have also selected, in... or we would have also accepted Time Pilot eighty four. Okay. Because that's what it was on in Free Play Richardson. Uh, it was actually uh, in the URL. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, I did a graphic so that it would just show up in X Split, but then I realized. Because the way we're doing it over Discord, you wouldn't have been able to see it. So, uh, so what was your wager? A uh, two thousand. Two thousand. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> so it, it, it's one thousand. He can two. only wager because he's only. Oh, it's up to the top value of the the value of the top oh, question yeah, yeah. on the board. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so two thousand. Or two thousand. Uh, right. sell sell the turn face for four. In wrestling, a character that is meant to be booed is referred to as this. Oh, I, uh, Danny. What is a heel? That is correct. Uh, all right, I'm coming back. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's mathematically impossible. Sell the turn face for eight. Taken from carny terminology, this term is used to describe wrestling fans who treat wrestling as unscripted or are unaware that it is. Danny. What are rubes? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What? <laughs> oh, wait, that's two. Anyone else? Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. What are suckers? <laughs> it's what is a mark mark, mark. Uh, you can also use it as a verb you when you when you basically react really you know strongly in a way that they want you to something they want you to react really strongly to you can say you're marking out um sell the or face the cell turn for 12. <laughs> when a wrestler generates a positive reaction from the crowd they are said to do this the crowd is said to do this to make the grammar more uh, clear. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It's what is pop? Pop. <laughs> Positive reaction is a pop, and, and a negative reaction is generating. Uh, turn cell to face for 16 hours. <laughs> Similar to the fourth wall, this term is used for the concept of maintaining the illusion that wrestling is not scripted. Three, oh. two, oh. one. Kayfabe. Yes, what is kayfabe? Oh, I've never heard that. Hmm. They, uh... Yeah, K kayfabe is like, yeah, the, it, it's it's kind of a complicated concept sometimes, but it's basically like kayfabe right. is the like in character world. Com okay. Compass in the chat right. is uh is upset about spoilers via wrestling being scripted. <laughs> <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it. Uh, okay, uh, let's do the turn face cell for two though. When a wrestler climbs up onto the turnbuckle and jumps off, pretending they're attempting a move, but actually holds their arms out so they can be countered, it is said they are doing this move. This is my favorite wrestling move. Uh, 
three, two, one. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. It's what is the what is flying it? nothing? Flying nothing. I love. It. <laughs> <laughs> they basically just like jump off the turnbuckle with their arms out, like, please counter me. <laughs> I was gonna say Titanic. <laughs> Uh, DJ Terminator might be for 400. Hi, it's Hot Mount Beltran. The palatial Beltran Estates are rumored <laughs> to be in this area of Dallas. These are great. Andrew. What? What is uh, Flower Mount? That, uh, that is incorrect. Uh, no, so what is I was going to say Oak Cliff. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't oh, give yeah. anybody else a chance to chime in. I, although I don't think, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, think I don't think they were going for now. getting it. <laughs> nope. I was gonna guess Oak Cliff, but it's okay. Right. I'm not. I'm not just saying that because hindsight. Um, eight hundred. The thing is, is like I didn't 100 percent remember uh, uh, that that was incorrect because these questions were written by Chris. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to read the questions here? <laughs> uh, no, we got it. I got the. Uh, I got the thing open. I can look at it. I'm like. Okay. <laughs> Mike, Perhaps Mike's great. most famous defeat came live on stream at the hands of this player who has graciously offered a rematch in 2016. 2026, sorry. Clarification. 2026. 2026. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Typo in the text. Uh, Andrew. Who is Penelope? Uh, that is correct. Uh, Andrew, you have control of the board. Andrew's chance to uh, do Mike there. B for 12. At one time, Mike was in contention for the top free play score on Punch Out. Sadly, his only broadcast fight was a knockout loss to this fighter. <laughs> Andrew. Who is Sonic Matt? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's oh. a good guess. Oh. Um. Mr. GQ. Who is Glass Joe? That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm just getting the correct. actual contender. It's only right. two. Mr. GG. Uh, DJ mm -hmm. Terminator might be for 1600. Mike's fame truly knows no bounds. In an effort to capitalize on that fact, this WWE superstar has featured Michael Beltran in his intro video. Such a good uh, fact. In three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. It is. Who is John Cena? That is true. By the way, we actually played it on the uh, on the stream. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that whoever said there's only haters. Oh, <laughs> oh we, we might actually see the video here long. in a sec. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say that like DJ. I mean, it might be for two thousand. Beltran bucks are totally fake tender, unless you happen to reside in this room. Oh. Uh, Danny. What is the Beltran triangle? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's incorrect. <coughs> so, was this? A solid guess, though. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. The Beltramas. It's what is the United Bros of Beltran? <laughs> I actually made a point of pulling out the Beltran bucks and putting it right on stream earlier today. The United Bros of Beltran. Uh, oh, so it was a ref. Okay. I thought it was also uh, taken at uh, like a Windstar yeah. or something. He he tipped a bartender. That's true too. That's but yeah, there are uh, indeed Beltran bucks. I'm holding one now. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, misunderstood geniuses for four hundred. This is the real name of Batman villain Scarecrow. Oh, buzzer's out. Danny. Uh, who's Crane? Chris? That's correct. It's who's Jonathan Crane? Right. Yeah. Mm. Dr. Crane. <coughs> Not big on my DC lore. Uh, misunderstood for eight. Dr. Wily eventually developed his own robot to imitate Mega Man's design. Robot dog to match. This is the name of that anti-hero character. Mr. GQ. Who is Bass? 
Uh, yes, is base. Base or forte and travel. <laughs> and travel. Because all the all the main characters in Mega Man have uh, music names, including Rock. Me Me Mega Man's name is Rock Man, and then he has a sister Roll, so they're Rock and Roll. Mm -hmm. Base. His dog is and Treble. The famous Woodman Quartet. <laughs> well, that's why I said, that's why I, no, that's I, why I said the honest. main character. I'm, I'm being true. <laughs> Mr. Jesus for 1200. This morally ambiguous scientist once created an entire civilization of candy people that she now rules over. The hell? Candy people. Three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, it's who is Princess Bubblegum? Oh, of course. Ah, uh, stupid. Adventure time. Oh, misunderstood geniuses for sixteen. After Doctor Clayton Forrester got turned into a baby by the monolith from two thousand one, A Space Odyssey, this person took over his life's work of driving someone insane with bad movies. Danny. Who is Pearl Forrester? That is correct. Uh, MakiHorror.com, by the way. MakiHorror.com? MakiHorror.com. 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 All right. Okay. Last one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is... <laughs> Surprise. The other... Daily Double. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> so it exists. Uh, since you got it right, that means you get to bid two thousand. <laughs> I'll make it a true daily. Yeah, uh, two thousand. Which means which is meaningless. Yeah, meaningless in this case. Let's say bet the max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mindbender was an evil scientist working for this, this was to say this, this paramilitary organization. <laughs> uh, what is Spectre? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, no one else can answer, so go for it. Yeah. It's what is Cobra? Cobra. Mm. I was thinking of uh, not bad. All right, we have an unusual situation going into Final Jeopardy. Only Mr. GQ is in the positive. Yeah, I'm pretty so, sure Adventure Land was something else. HD Atomic. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is how we'll do it. We'll let everybody answer the question, but only GQ has won. He is officially one. He's yes. the only one who's in Final Jeopardy. Mr. GQ, you get to bid, though, so I want you to message me. Uh, uh, before via... you bid, you get to hear what the category is. Correct. Okay. So here... The category is comic book movie villains. Villains who have appeared in comic book related movies. All right. So, okay. GQ, you text me how much you bid, and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right. I'm already going to guess. Do we Kristen need them Stewart. to text me their their answers as well? Kristen Stewart played Princess Bubblegum in Adventureland. There. I just sent you a message, Chris. Where did you send that message? Uh, Discord. Here. Let me uh, try something else. Let me just send it to you on Facebook. There we go. Oh, got it. Pull the prices oh. right, Lego. <laughs> One dollar, Bob. Can you win with? <laughs> can you win with zero? Uh, zero is the highest. I. I don't know that. Or do you have that. to have at least one? I don't know that. I, oh, I, actually, I believe you. I believe you don't get the win at zero. Yeah, everybody loses, and you yeah. get three new three new competitors. Yeah. And I do believe that's happened at least once. You have my, to have it, money. You have to have money. Going. Yeah. No, I mean like I mean if on Final Jeopardy. Yes, yes. If if he bets it all and gets zero, and then nobody finishes with a dollar, 
then yeah, there yeah, is right. no winner, and there are three new contestants oh, right. the next day okay. right. on, on Jeopardy, on I traditional Jeopardy. Matter, but I'm sending you a bid just for that. Nice. Okay, ready for the question? Oh, wait. Actually, wait. All right, so we'll let everybody text me their answer or their question yeah. to this answer. Okay. Because it's just more fun to have somebody. Oh, do you want it on Facebook or? Just... Yeah, Facebook's fine, and I, and I got your, I okay. got yours, Danny. <coughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, ready to go. We ready for the question? Yep. Mm -hmm. This hyper intelligent and incredibly evil alien made a post credits appearance in the Shazam movie. <sighs> oh hell, yes. Oh, All I right, just every, saw this. everybody, Facebook message their their question to me. You need like theme music or something. Oh yeah, yeah uh, who, who's in the chat? Start humming. So that's time. All right, let me see. I have the answers. Yes. Okay, so we start with who was in last? Danny. That would be Danny. Oh, I don't know. Danny uh, is, said, who is Mastermind? Just say director. Okay. Correct. It was, that was close. All right. Yeah. So, uh, it, it is, so, so no? No. That is okay. incorrect. And, and, and despite not being able to bid, he bid uh, positive $13,199. <laughs> Andrew. Let's open up. Oh. He. A Andrews. Yes. His his guess was who is Earthworm Jim. <laughs> That's <laughs> not close. <laughs> uh, he now did not. He did not make a wager. Uh, yeah. Noun proper. The Jeopardy music would probably get us content ID. Correct. Yeah. Um, more than probably, and. Uh, Mr. GQ says, who is Mr. Mind? That is correct. Yeah. Mr. Mind. Yeah. His wager, 2,000 Beltran bucks. That puts your final total at 9,600. Sweet. Congratulations. Can you, can you. you just add, can you penalize mine and let's just see where we ended up? <laughs> <laughs> just, just for fun. Uh, so... I mean, we can all do the math, but it's more fun if you see it. Yeah. What was Andrew's bid? Uh, was Andrew's Andrew, Andrew didn't bid. Okay. So, zero for him. <laughs> there you go. So I'll do one. You're, 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 I care. That... <laughs> yeah, your winner, Mr. GQ, at 9,600 9, Beltran bucks. Andrew, 3,201. And Danny, just barely in last, with negative 26,399. I don't need your pity. Pure, pure Yeti, he's in the post credit sequel. <laughs> also, there was there was a point during 52 where he metamorphosed into Hyperfly and started eating the universes. He started eating time and space. I want to thank you all for playing. Uh, Mr. GQ, I'll ask you to come back for the Tournament of Champions. Maybe next week. Maybe maybe soon after that, if if not. Um, and, Sounds uh, great. Yeah, thank you, Andrew and Danny as well. What I yeah. gotta say for Danny though, if you hadn't buzzed in so much, we would have had a lot more questions just timing out with blank noise. So. Yeah, I thought you did great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Failure is my comedy. Big. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Big big close, fan of your close your. Enough. Your, uh, and I was just too slow yeah. to the uh, trigger on the answers I didn't know. <laughs> um, now, my pleasure. Yeah, uh, you can thank watch you. me fail more on when we do a match game. Yes, There's no we way will. I can fail because I'm hosting. 
Right. We will be doing the live matching game Thursday at 8 p.m. Danny will be <coughs> the writer and host. And uh, let's see, where else can we find you, Danny? The Dallas Observer? Dallas Observer, dannygallagher.net. That and takes you to my sorry, go ahead. portfolio. And then writer Danny Gallagher on Facebook. And this is Danny G. Or writer Danny Gallagher on Facebook and Instagram. And this is G on Twitter. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll Thank see you, you Fun. Thursday. Enjoyed it. And uh, Mr. GQ, we got to figure out a time to get the, uh, the Tournament of Champions going. Sounds great. Awesome. And uh, Josh, When is the thank- uh, Tournament of Losers? Uh... We'll have to we'll have to get that get that one going. We'll uh, we'll combine that with oh, a kids ST um, <laughs> free play Jeopardy. Cool. <laughs> oh, uh, and Danny, I, I yes, I, I always feel like Josh is doing a bang up job of writing this. You you're a professional. Are you doing good? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look except at for when score. I gave except for when I gave somebody no, the no, answer look, with the seriously. outrun thing. <laughs> like the best trivia writers are the ones that play to the the smartest people in the room or you know like like basically they try to try to make it there's a balance between too hard and too soft which is which was my problem because i thought this was because i'm a celebrity i thought this was going to be like celebrity jeopardy it's like <laughs> the easy ones but no no like you play to the smartest person and he, he nailed that so and they were all very concisely written yeah. you know gave the right amount of clues you know, it didn't make made it play, make it's very playable, very playable uh, game. Yeah, thanks, Josh. We gonna do it again next week. Uh, yeah, like if we get the champion one together, like I said, I've already got category for that pretty much. Uh, all right, I'll I'll reach out to our champions and I'll, I'll let you know pretty soon if they all say yes. Also, M- Mr. Also GQ, I... are you ready? Are you able to play next week this time? I think that's doable. Okay. Also, uh, uh, I have my streaming stuff set up, so like, I don't know when you do scheduling, but I can definitely do some streaming stuff. We still need to 